Whew. Ah. Fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> Whew. What's up, folks? Name is Rack. I'm a coach, and this is the roast. And welcome to the Christmas countdown. So, for those who are wondering, this is the surprise. I essentially was sitting back and having a nice big think. Stream officially starts and four people leave. Yeah, that's pretty normal. They see my head and they're like, Ugh. but yeah. So here's the plan. It's been a pretty cool year. Had a pretty, had a lot of good laughs, a lot of this and that. And uh, I think it's only right that we naturally share this all with you. So I sat down with the mods and Lana and a couple other people. And we went over a bunch of clips and we picked out the best ones and we ranked them. Now, there's a couple of honorable mentions as well. So, <laughs> I do hope you all enjoy what I'm bringing today. I'm first bitch's honorable mentions. <laughs> yeah, alright, so calm down, calm down. These are all probably new for me, so I'm like, look, there's going to be a few good ones. Now, I've rearranged my camera, so it should be a little bit easier for you all to see. So I'm over here this time, if you can see me. I'm chilling over here. So, wreck to a five-year anniversary. Bruh, i got to get the five years first. So I'll clip over the past five years when you're here. Yeah, sounds like a pretty good idea. The aim is to, like, keep them all together. So I'm going to keep, like, a, a list of it pinned in, our, in that new channel we made for the mods. And we'll probably just keep going from there. But yeah. Um, yeah. So <laughs> I'm very nervous about this, as you can tell. I'm kind of hoping that uh, this goes to plan. But yeah. Uh, special honorable mention that's not actually featured in the list. It goes to uh, Leighton. So if Leighton, if you're watching this, it's uh, a big thank you for providing one of the greatest death horse runs of the year. It was amazing, and I hope you actually uh, enjoyed it, and I look forward to doing your next video without the entire roasting enjoyed. It was a great time. So you get a special honorable mention for that. Unfortunately, we didn't have any clips from it because obviously we were just too drunk and too silly. Was that the one I played? Yes, that was the one you were involved in, Volker. That was one of the greatest ones we've done this year. That's probably like rank two. Rank one uh, goes to... Well, we'll get to that, won't we? <laughs> anyway... So, I'll start with the honorable mentions, and we will get straight into this. Oh boy, this is good, some good shit. So yeah, without further ado, we are going to begin the Christmas countdown. So, as I said, I'm going to start with the honorable mentions. It's only natural that I start with the most honorable of said mentions, so I'm going to bring up this one to start off the day. Oh boy. All right. Take me home to the place. Wait, what happened to my thing? What the hell? Oh, there we go. It's working. There we go. Where I belong, West Virginia, Mountain Mama, Country Road. Take me home. Hyper's in the fucking chat. How are we fucking doing? Wait, can't swear. It's an industry. Uh, uh, uh. Hi guys, <laughs> welcome to Ninja Stream. Hyper is in the chat. <laughs> I dyed my hair blue, as you can see. I'm doing pretty fucking well. Ah, oh, shit, I swore again. God damn it. This is really hard to do. How the hell does anyone actually manage to not swear on stream? Family friendly, nothing. I got nothing, man. This is tough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. How are we doing, chat? Name's Roast, welcome to Wrecking Ball. I mean... <laughs> so, clip number one in the honorable mentions list. So this is the, this is this week's, uh, this year's rather, April Fool's joke that I did. I basically told everyone, hey guys, uh, 
I'm going to pursue my new career as a Fortnite streamer. And this was my cosplay. Uh, it took a grand total of about 10 seconds to make this cosplay. I literally texted Lana about five minutes before the stream and said, Hey babe, do you have a blue scarf that I can borrow? And yeah, this, the rest is history. I came up with all of this off the top of my head. It was a really, really silly, like, it was just fucking silly. Everything about this was just hilarious but basically yeah i came up with this five minutes before no mods knew about it no one was no one was aware i snatched one of the out of the thing thank you azora for the subscribe you are awesome jingle bells wreck nine smells well that's probably true i smell fucking amazing but yes thank you azora for the 14 months golden bin hype mucho love all right so yeah I, got, I grabbed one of Lana's scarves out of the drawer, wrapped it over my head, said I dyed my hair blue like ninja, and the rest is history. That was uh, pretty much it. Just so everyone is aware, though, when I made that announcement saying that I was moving to Fortnite as a streamer, I lost 25 people. 25 people left Discord instantly. I don't even understand how like no one was aware. It might be because, obviously, we got April Fool's first, so a lot of Americans were very confused about this, given that it was the 31st of March, and they were like, he's serious. But yes, that's what happened. So yeah, hope you enjoy that. Uh, that is the first honorable mention of the day. Uh, now, second, <laughs> second honorable mention. Now, this one is not as funny as the previous one, but it still has something that we can kind of appreciate. Uh, I don't care about them. I'm here to help you, and you, you, shit's got to go down, now. I don't care if that Mercy has the IQ of a dropped pie. It's not, it's not as if you're supposed to as well just to match that because you're in gold. The idea is to improve and be better than these people. <laughs> so this one's only short. This one was actually Lana's favorite uh, clip of the year, purely because of my silly one-liners surrounding the drop pie. I think that was one of the first times Lana ever heard me say it, and she was in stitches. She uh talks about like a lot of a lot of the good one liners that I have and naturally like a lot of the things the stupid things I've done over the year they don't all enjoy like the one liners generally so it's good to actually like have some lines where I'm actually kind of funny rather than just stupid shit happening on the screen and me losing my collective shit over it. So yeah big shout out to Lana for picking this one out. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And yeah obviously I think this could make a pretty good motivational point uh, as part of the rest at some stage. But yeah, it's been, a, it's been a pretty good time. Nonetheless, pretty fucking good time. Oh, dearie me. But yeah, it's only, only a short one for that one, but it's always been a very good, uh, very good situation. And there's never really been anything to really worry about since then. All right, this is the final, uh, this is the final one. Oh yeah, set mains are surprisingly wholesome, except right now. Except right now. Why, why am I not surprised that right now it just happens to be horrible? But understandable nonetheless. Okay, so this is the final uh, honorable mention. <laughs> well, I'll let this one speak for itself. Oh. Why are you going to buy... Just quick thing, I have to hide myself on the screen so you can kind of get a bit of uh, extra sort of ideas of what's going on here. It's a bit hard to see with the bar in the way, but yeah. You're not even in base, bro! You're not in base! You can't buy when you're not in... And you just realised now... He literally just fucking realized then, dude. Like, what the hell? Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. I need a fucking warning on this video, dude. Oh. So, for context, he actually didn't use the rig. So... Look, I'm going to just be honest with you guys. This entire video, it's something you got to go back and watch. It was pretty crazy. I'm going to be honest with you. 
uh, he, the guy, if I remember correctly, he's either bronze four, three or iron two, one of those, two, I think it's iron two. And basically, uh, he clicked, he clicked recall at the beginning of this VOD. Like this is the, this is only a section of this, right? Beginning of this VOD, he actually did click recall to go home and we were like, well, we're in for a fucking ride today. And basically if, if it was possible, we'd actually clip the entire area for this particular part, because truthfully, the, the whole entire point that he got to here was actually kind of scary. So he actually was around about f first bot tower in like the tri bush there, uh, as in purple sides one. So like, you know, their side, he's on blue side. It's on the enemy side near first tower. And he was actually in there. And he teleported. He's, he has teleport on Ezreal in that meta, right? And he teleported to his own second mid turret to get out of a gank. Wasn't even that far of like a gank thing. Like it was definitely safe or safe-ish. And basically from there, he actually, I believe that he'd recalled home. And he started buying. And that was probably the end of my rope. This entire, like, VOD was pretty tilting. You can see by the look of pain on my face that I'm pretty fucking, like, done at this point. And that was pretty much the uh, the set-off moment. I couldn't even, like, believe what I was watching at this point. These are mistakes that someone that has been playing the game for a while that definitely should not ever be made. It literally looks like someone kicked me in the gonads and then fed me poison. Like, that's pretty much, like... Now that was how I was feeling on the day, if I'm being honest with you. But yeah, this entire, like, that VOD was pretty painful to watch. These are mistakes, like I said, that any, like, player that has been playing for longer than a season should understand. It's pretty much like coaching mid -beast. Hey! As someone who has actually coached mid-beast, that's pretty cheeky. Very well said. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, um... <laughs> but yeah, so... I honestly just, ah, oh, look, I don't, I don't feel like, ah, oh, hey Vega, but yeah, I, I, I felt so bad about this entire like situation. I'm taking notes on things, how to break, right? I mean, you played APTF, that's enough of a problem, but anyway, um, <laughs> the whole, like, the, the whole thing that sort of came about on this, I just, I I felt sorry for the guy, but I was just, I was getting less and less sorry over the course of it. Like, I was just getting worse and worse over, like, how painful this was getting. So, his name was Bjergsen, by the way, with a Y. Bjergsen. So, yeah, if you're out there, dude, I apologize for the, oh, I don't apologize, but, like, I, I definitely, like, lost my shit during this VOD. Partially deserved, but... I hope you recovered. It's probably the better line I'm going for you. I hope you recovered. Please tell me this guy was NA. Ah, uh, he was EU, I think. EUNE. -E. Thank you so. So found him. Yeah, it's uh yeah. So yeah. That's the that's the cover of the honorable mentions. There was there's also a half of me wants to honorable mention Bunny for me reading her permaban uh chat log, but dead set. I couldn't read that out again, and I'm definitely not having it on stream. So, yeah, if you ever go back and find those clips, enjoy. But, yeah. Because uh, that one on its own is an honorable mention, but it can't be on stream just purely because it's toxic. So, big love. Big love to Bunny for that, but, yeah. You got me intrigued. Now, uh, look, just when a woman is angry enough that she says some particular things to a guy that you know are just plain out gross. It's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. So yeah. Anyway, big shout outs to those who made it to honorable mentions. Let's go on with the countdown. So number 10, number 10. Unfortunately, I don't have any cool numbers to put on screen, but yeah, oopsie, sorry. So yeah, don't have any cool numbers to put on the screen, but yeah, we definitely have some good ones. So, Number fucking 10 goes to a clip called The Goat Dog. Bro? Bro? I, did, I didn't know where everyone came from. Yeah, I mean, I didn't either. I first saw Rengar, then just everyone popped up. Same. I'm not that bad. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> I mean, 
I was looking at them. I hope that wasn't too loud. But it's okay. I replay it because it's that funny. It's how confused I am. <laughs> I don't even need to say anymore. Oh my fucking god! <laughs> Thank you, Amon Rio, for submitting that gem uh, from your VOD reviews. I... All I wanted to do, man, was just yawn in peace while they took Baron for free. But no, couldn't get, couldn't have that, could we? So yeah, uh, Amon Rio's reaction on top of that actually uh, definitely makes that amazing. Obviously, it's kind of predictable, I guess, when you actually look at it. But it's still fucking hilarious when you actually leave it there. So yeah, 11 HP Baron steal, me losing my collectives, and almost dying on the spot. They are queuing jungle to recreate. You just can't recreate some of this shit. This one's probably the easiest to recreate out of the list. But, yeah. Honestly, like, that particular thing on its own, it doesn't seem like a lot. But fuck me, if you actually, like, if you time it and you see, like, the reactions there, it's a good laugh. A few people definitely voted this one in. It was definitely one of Lana's favorites. Uh, a couple of mods that thought this was a pretty solid one, too. So, yeah. Definitely something to go with. Um... How is Lana? Lana's amazing. She'll always be amazing. It was a it was a six to so, but there was some other. I need to submit some hide diamond tank any games. Oh boy, definitely get yourself into the fucking roast, dude. I want to see some some good ones from you, Austin. Definitely. All right, that is number ten on the list. All right, who's ready for number nine? We ready for number nine? Number nine. Number nine is labeled as R slash Pro League moments. Or as I like to call it, it never gets old. Number nine. Like that, no. I think this is from the same day, based on my shirt and the way I'm sitting. Just play. We're back. We're back again, chat. We are so back. <laughs> oh, that's it. Oh, didn't think. Didn't think is probably the best way to put it. It's just didn't think. Hello, Atlas Hugo. Welcome. I'm glad you caught that moment right as you got here. Ah, oh, dearie dear. So, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm like, every time, every time I watch this clip, I'm just infinitely reminded about how people just misjudge things in low rank. And, oh, big, big shout out to love to, uh, to Phoenix the Shadow, by the way, for this particular gem, but yeah, just flashes straight into it, knowing Knowing that he can, that the timer still has, is there for it to come up, and he can wait for it, but yeah, still flashes into it. It just, ah, oh, this one actually killed Soph. This is one of Soph's favorite. I remember Soph being actually on the floor during this particular time, but yeah, it was definitely, uh, yeah, it was definitely a good time. Um, just. If this isn't a lesson of just planning out your flash before you go for a chat, I don't know. I don't know what is. What's up, Steamy? How you doing, mate? But yeah, I'm basically saying Vega is AP and Solitude. Watch what I think of it. Vega is a very strong character at the moment. Yes, he's been strong since Worlds. He's a good, like, general, uh, general strong carry. Because honestly, like, regardless of how long it takes for him to stack, it's just he's just a good character. And plus, the zone control he has is pretty good. Plus, his ultimate's disgusting. So, his ultimate's always going to be disgusting. But yeah, um, feeding a Vega like that, a bit painful. I just realized Soph is the one that clipped this. <laughs> All that time ago, Soph is the one that clipped, that clipped this. But yeah, so, this generally on its own, just kind of makes up for all the silliness that we've, uh, that we're going with it. Uh, but yeah, 
Sounds like May, no fun allowed. I mean, yeah, kind of. But yeah, I hope you all enjoyed that one. It definitely put me on the floor. I have this problem when I burst out laughing so hard that I get like, a, that I just get dizzy as shit. And that was definitely one of those moments. I couldn't actually hold it in by that point. I tried to be really nice about it and I couldn't, I couldn't hold it in. Just considering like how these plays go. Oh boy. It's just, it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. All right. All right. I've tried to get a volume for ages. Hey, man, we got all the preseason. Even though I am stopping after this week, but still, it's not so bad. All right. Number eight. Number eight. Are you ready? Number eight. All right. Every game FF15. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right. Number eight. Wreck versus inverted <laughs> controls. You can see why I don't have my uh, builder's license. All right. Going up. Nice and easy. There we go. Die. Just, just die. Oh, my God. No. Don't tell me about it in the water. Oh, that feels fucking bad, man. <laughs> Okay, this guy this is definitely out to get. Me. Look, I'm going to be honest with you. I I don't know how many of you guys actually watched me play <laughs> Zelda, but on <laughs> I know I know Scent was there because that was exactly what he said when he was there last time to just yeet the bowl into the goddamn next room so we could just get it done because. I, and I know Sent was there for this because he witnessed me this. This is only a very short 25 seconds of about five minutes of me losing my collective shit over the inverted controls for lifting things. Have I finished that other game you were playing? Which one? Psychonauts? I have not finished that. I'm going back to it Wednesday night when Wacky's back. Because it's for him. Anyway. um, So, for those unaware, the, the controls for lifting and moving stuff up and down are actually inverted. Both ways, X and Y, were, bo were both inverted. So I'm literally trying to push and pull and move up and down at the same time while doing all of these movements. And it was absolutely fucking murdering me. I cannot even begin to tell you how absolutely tilted I was trying to do this. And, oh. I honestly just... Every single time I think about this clip, I just remember how tilted I was trying to actually make this work. It was fucking detrimental on so many levels. Playing on inverted controls isn't so bad once you're used to it, but when it's actually like the most minuscule part of the game and everything else is somewhat standard, it's play on inverted controls on League, do it. Fuck no. What are you, Do I look like a fucking martyr to you? No. 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 But yeah. Just as a general sort of like motif, I would never like wish this upon anybody, but like dead set. Remember the one super one who we had to open 15 miles from where the thing started beeping, beeping. I think I remember what you're talking about, but like even just having to disconnect, the worst part was having to disconnect my switch from the dock just to be able to fucking like do the the inside the thingos ones i'm just like oh come on but this this got me this one ruined me it happened twice i think during out the whole thing but oh just so many things that had to be done during this it was in a mountain and it had a temple or whatever underground where you cannot actually see oh i remember what you're talking about yeah that hurt a little but yeah there were just so many like silly things that like happened in Zelda just for the purposes of either like getting one of these or doing the Korok seeds. They were all just really silly. And yeah, but I just remember this one in particular because I was just starting out the game. I wasn't very far in and holy hell did I actually ruin myself. Each time I was just ruined. Every single time. It looked like it was going so well and then it just, I just dropped it each time. But this was the worst part because I finally got it done and then right as I put it down, bounced it away. Fucking killed me uh anyway 
Number seven. Number seven. Who's ready for number seven? Number seven. All right. I don't get how his in-game FPS is okay, but his actual, like, what bitrate did he record in? I wouldn't be going for that ward if I were you. Does the music not go away? Let's find out. <laughs> oh, you couldn't make up that fucking timing, could you? <laughs> uh, Enya, if you're here... <laughs> This one was recorded by your boy Wackers. Uh, the other one was recorded by Sam, but I, rec I took the longer one just because it's funnier when I actually like run into it. it deserves a redo. All right, I'll put a redo. I don't know his in-game FPS is okay, but his actual like what bitrate did he record in? I wouldn't be going for that ward if I were you. Does the music not go away? Let's find out. You couldn't make up that fucking timing, could you? <laughs> uh, Enya, if you're here. <laughs> Fuck. Who even listens to music like that while playing League? Look, over the over the progressive time in this guy's game, it actually got worse. Like, it actually... Uh, I, I remember doing it again later on in the game, and it was like some weird-ass, like, heavy bass thing where the kid was, like, rapping on, like, how he was King Kong or something. I'm like, what the fuck is this crap? Like... Who listens to this music? And I just remember, like, every single time I play this video, I'm just thinking, like, there are, like, comedic timing is everything. When it happens and you're not prepared for it, how do you even, how do you even deal with it? Hold on, you call it music. I only call it music because I have to be nice about it. It's like the PC era for music. You gotta, like, every bit of music matters, you know? This is the, this is the transitional phase of music that none of us care about, you know? That's that's the thing. You got to be really PC about it. Whereas I'm like, like, I actually care about every other like issue in the universe in regards to like you know trans rights, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I totally dig it. But this kind of music, fuck no. <laughs> I'm just being nice. This kind of music. But yeah, can we all agree Rex should never shave? I somewhat agree. But unfortunately, I have two very old-fashioned parents that do not like my beard, so I have to shave again. I'll be shaving again today. I'm so sorry. Please all get an F in the chat for my beard. It's going to be shaved again today. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's only for Christmas, and then it'll be grown again over the new year. So stop spamming. <laughs> I'll see you in stream in six days. That You're just going to leave me like that, Vega. Damn! So it's less funny. Okay, boomer. Okay, Zoomer. Fucking hell. Ugh. Oh, dear. I can just put a sticker on my screen where you're clean, shaved baby faces. Look. 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 I'm... I get it. Y'all don't like it. It's understandable. Hello, Lethoricus. How you doing? But yeah, it's it's tough. But unfortunately, yeah, I have to be nice to my family. I have to be really nice to my family about it because yeah. Anyway, that is number <laughs> that is number seven. Cut out a little sand bead and stick it on your screen. I'm looking sexy at the moment. Well, thank you. Lana kissed my beard goodbye today. It was a morning moment. It was very sad. But yeah, I'll draw a beard on my screen with a sharpie. <laughs> Good luck. Hope it doesn't break anything. <laughs> anyway, number six. All right. Who's ready for number six? Number six. Excuse me. Wait, do I have a melee weapon now? I do. None of you saw that. I'm just making sure none of you saw that. Okay? Cool. I'm glad absolutely no one saw that. <laughs> I think Sent saw that. I'll just replay it for those who missed it. Excuse me. 
Wait, do I have a melee weapon now? I do. None of you saw that. Am I wearing the same shirt? I'm just making sure. Yes, I am. None of you saw that. I am wearing the same shirt. Okay. Cool. I'm glad absolutely no one saw that. <laughs> so. Uh, big problem. When you play different games off stream with different controllers, you naturally have to figure out like a few specific button presses from other games and this game are very different uh i pulled the wrong weapon out and used it instantly and i used that to kill myself blame monster hunter monster hunter is the the main problem that i had there i was starting i remember i was starting monster hunter at the same time i was playing this separately and yeah pulled out i, I did what essentially was supposed to be a charge attack in monster hunter and I ended up pulling out my arrows and explosive, arrowing myself into the fucking floor. We need to start a GoFundMe, get wreck and use shirt. Hey! I have a few shirts. I just put them through the laundry often enough to be able to rewear them with it every couple of days. Asshole. Why are you hating on me? <laughs> get me a new shirt. We'll stream for new shirt. Alright. So I need new shirts. Knowing, uh, knowing my family, I'm sure there are clothes in one of those, like, in one of those presents. So, you'll be safe. Bomb arrow, falling into the void combo is insane. Hey, man, definitely. Top the stream. When when Twitch removes the things. Zephyro carried me into solo queue games earlier. Was it because you played Annie? As a tank? What? <laughs> but, yeah. Honestly, I feel like my Zelda streams were, like, heavily underrated. Because I swear some of the stupid shit I did in those streams just went unnoticed. But we're at this point now where I remember the two specific moments specifically are just absolutely painful. You didn't lose your lane hard like others. Oh, that's always good. But yeah, this is number six, Wacky. We're at number six. <clears throat> I enjoyed finding you cooking recipes. It was always good. It was always good. But yeah, <laughs> I just remember... Oh, it was good times. It's good times. Just, yeah. <laughs> oh, such an underrated time. All right. Number five. Number five. We're into the top five. So I have to just make a, like a, like a preface, precursor statement for this. Hold on over holidays, maybe. It's a possibility. All right. So number five. Now I need to make a precursor statement. Five to three. All three of these are interchangeable, okay? All three of these are interchangeable. Just purely because it was really too hard to really put together which ones should be above which. I would honestly just tie all of these for third, because dead set, they're all hilarious in their own way. And every single mod and every single person involved voted for a different one at the top of theirs in each thing. So, without further ado, the next three are, yeah, they're all about even. Let's put it that way. So here's number five. I'm so going to fuck this up. You have no idea how long it's been since I've played this game. Uh, the speedrun is to portal through the map. Through the map? Like straight down? All right, cool. I'm going to do that sometime. All right. <laughs> and that's what I get for looking at the chat. <laughs> Let's try that again, shall we? All right. Ugh. Ugh. Alright, we got this. Just gonna make sure I don't walk off. I'm a fucking genius, chat. No death. No rip, no death speedrun any percent. I was 100% there for that one. Look, I understand. This is actually from really early in the year. Chat is the number one killer of over 200 streamers a year. Donate to it. <laughs> Donate now to save a life. It's true. It's true. I was literally looking at the chat. I was not aware of how far back I was. And yeah, I just, I just slipped straight off. I'm just going to let it replay again. I'm uh, so going to fuck this up. You have no idea how long it's been since I've played this game. I got in my own head too. Through the map. Through the map. Like straight down? Alright, cool. I'm going to do that sometime. Alright. <laughs> Every time I look uh, at it, that's man. what I get for looking at the chat. Oh, fuck. 
Let's try that again, shall we? Fucking god damn it, dude. They look at the donation and die. Yeah, they, it would just look at the donation and die. I mean, this time I wouldn't, because I'm not playing, thank fucking god. But yeah, there's definitely been a few situations where it's been fucking god awful. But yeah, I just remember looking at the chat, looking back, getting my, getting my position, looking back again, stepping backwards, falling straight off, and just going, ugh. <laughs> Couldn't do it, man. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it properly to save my life. And I paid the consequences. Because fucking looking at chat is evil. Looking at chat is so fucking evil. On so many levels. It's just insane. How do you deal with this chat? How? How do you deal with it? <laughs> oh, jeez. But yeah. That's, that's basically how that went. I can't really, like, put any uh, stopper on the amount of silly things I've done from uh, from any and all of my games, but that definitely rates at the top. Okay, number four. Oh. oh, dear. All right, number four. Are we ready? Oh, number five, part two. Technically, number three, part two, but whatever. Number four. <laughs> Uh. Arthur, use your ulti. Oh, thank you, Lord. He's using the ulti. We have enraged plants, and then the video freezes. What a fucking surprise! The video fucking has to freeze the hey, moment shit. he actually—it's still counting up. It's actually lagging, and we don't even get to see. It. And now he's dead again. I'm fucking done. He died to Pike. His zonias is still up. I just now. That's it. I'm done. That's it. I'm not dealing with it. That, that this not it. I ah, chewing batteries has a different order. It might as well be here. I'm done. You're everything, froze, dude. Your computer is dead. What is my camera looking at right now? Oh, it's still looking at me. Cool. Fuck it. It can stay there. Oh, hello. <sighs> hey, it's like the Maybug. Oh yeah, the Maybug. So yeah. This was a pretty hard game, only because I need you guys to understand something. If you look at the scoreboard, that scoreboard that you see there, the 30 versus 29, about 20 of those kills belong to that pike. 30 of those kills belong to pike. Wreck, mate, you're not even up. So there's up, Moosey. How you doing, mate? Oh, wait, that was a clip. Yeah, that was a clip. I'm down here. Hello. That's the, that's me. <laughs> you're probably wondering. I was confused there were two rare. Yeah, this is a top 10 for the year, dude. Saddle in. Enjoy. Support item and water must be low. low. So, he's silver four. He was iron three at the beginning of the year, at the beginning of when he came here. So, I'm proud of him getting the two, the two divs. But, yeah. That pike has about 20 kills. And he built his onions, but he never used it. And I was losing my mind every single time he got killed. Because he'd actually be able to survive the majority of these, like, fights against Pike if he actually used his Zonyas and let the empowered plants kill him. But then, yeah, the one time that I thought he was actually going to do it right because he finally used his ulti, the fucking video freezes. It's actually, his recording just decides to eat shit while he was, uh, while he was trying to do it. And, yeah, we don't get to see any of it. So, yeah, I'll just replay that for your benefit. Enjoy. Arthur! Use your ulti! Oh, thank you, Lord. He's using the ulti. We have enraged plants, and then the video freezes. What a fucking surprise. The video fucking has to freeze the moment he actually... It's still counting up. It's actually lagging, and we don't even get to see it. And now he's dead again. I'm fucking done. He died to Pike. His Zonyas is still up. I just... Now. That's it. I'm done. That's it. I'm not dealing with it. That, that, this is not it. I... Ah! Chewing batteries has a different order. It might as well be here. <laughs> I'm done. You're everything, Froze, dude. Your computer is dead. What is my camera looking? There you go. Here's 24 and 4. You see it? It was 20 and 4. He's 20 kills. 20 fucking kills, man. I was losing it. I couldn't even fucking deal with it. What are you looking at right now? Oh, it's still looking at me. Cool. Fuck it. It can stay there. Oh, hello. There. That is just how painful that entire thing was. I was just... Like, shout out to the Like a Glove for for this video. Like, he's done great this year. Don't get me wrong. He's done great this year. But, I mean, it was only natural I was going to be tilted after seeing this for the, what, fifth, seventh time in a row? 
Hi-ya. So yeah, it was pretty painful. A, a lot of his landing phase and everything in general was just dying to pike and just getting smashed. And it was just... Oh, it hurt. It hurt. A lot of it hurt. It was it was pretty painful. I'm not going to lie to you. It was pretty painful. <laughs> I was totally ready to just get into it and it just fucking fell on its face. I just could not even deal. It was... It was pretty painful. I'm going to be honest with you, chat. It was pretty fucking painful. I... Oh... Every time I, like I said, I, I watch a lot of my, a lot of my VODs back and a lot of my like clips back just so I can, you know, gauge what people enjoyed and what's funny, etc. But I feel like <clears throat> when it comes to like seeing these VODs, I, I, I honestly, like I question a lot, like just how, like, I don't, I don't mean to be angry, but I feel like I'm very animated. I get very tilted. I react quite heavily to this. This is where I am. Can I look up at the top left corner, please, and smile? <laughs> like there? What am I smiling at exactly? <laughs> I noticed a tech and MK11 folder in your browser. Do you just like those? Or... Okay, so I play a lot of Tekken. I did play a bit of MK11. I do play some Smash, but not often. I did play... I used to play some Street Fighter, but I'm... I'm I've not touched it in ages. I watch a lot of these games generally, though. Watch Tekken World Tour. Watched a little bit of Capcom Cup. It was pretty good. But Tekken is bomb. I love Tekken. Tekken's my favorite. Unfortunately, I play one of the worst characters in the universe, though, so that's pretty unfortunate. But yeah. <clears throat> TWT was so good. It was fucking lit. Loved it. Anyway. But yeah. I... The, the duality that I go through when it comes to, like you know, reviewing these VODs, it's, uh, oh, you're a Katarina, mate, dude, I'm a Gigas, man, we don't believe in fucking buffs, we just, we just coast, me and five or six fans have a bet on who gets the highest peak rank next season, everyone putting in $200, yo, I want a fucking cut of that if you win, just saying, hate that I have to say that I made Akuma before season three, I mean, that's just unfortunate, <laughs> but maining, maining Akuma generally was pretty painful, since he was, be he was stronger before, technically, Emote out of Rex's face, please. Which part? Wh why are we making more emotes out of my face? We've already got enough of them. Fairy in the clip URL. Oh, that one. Well, there you go. How unfortunate. <laughs> Here I am thinking I have it. At least I have a character for a while. Yeah, man, you had a character. I just do not believe in my character. But yeah. Honestly, like... I've had some moments. I've had some fucking moments. Oh. So, all right, here we go. Rank number three. Number three, which is technically three to five, but still three, because this is probably, yeah, like, this one's near the top, but there were a lot of people that reacted accordingly to this one. This one's technically a later entry, just based on, like, everything that's happened over the uh, previous time of this year, but here we are. Number three. Is Soph dead? Where's my hype man gone? My hype man's dead. My hype man's dead, chat. Where the fuck has he gone? There he is. <laughs> Number three. This one. Oh. It's either... Wait, he tried to solo Baron. The fucking blast! No! No! Volume warning. Wait, he got his Baron stolen by. <laughs> Holy fucking shit! So, for those, I'm gonna tell you all a story. I'm gonna tell you all. A very, very lovely story. So, one night, after a pretty good stream, I decided, based on everything that was going on, this was Soph's night, etc., right? There was all that good stuff. We had a pretty good, like, night, generally. I decided that I was going to raid someone. 
And I looked through the uh, through the list and hunted around, and I came across the guy named the Wreck Lol, as you can see up there. It's a, his name is actually the Wreck Lol. And I thought, fuck, like we gotta we gotta raid this guy. He had he had no viewers, and it seemed like a pretty like cool thing, you know. We'll give him a give him a nice little boost from the other Wreck in the universe. And basically, the moment we entered the stream. We were met with the most blood curdling scream I have ever encountered in my entire fucking life. Sounded something like that. It was pretty painful. Dead set, it was pretty painful. So, just that on its own, we decided we got to figure out what the hell's going on here. Because he was in a losing game, he was met, he's playing Vayne, and we couldn't figure out what was going on. So, we waited. And I. I messaged the chat, as you can see, and he didn't respond, so I figured he was just tilted as shit. And then I'm still talking to my chat, as you can see, and he's like, I'm going back into the VOD to see it. I'm like, I wonder what happened. Let's find out. And then, yeah, he shows the Baron, and we're all here just losing it, laughing at this. So we felt kind of sorry for him, so we decided to raid him, and he ignored it and went offline. He had no uh, alerts. He wasn't reading his chat. The guy was just an all-around toxic douche. <laughs> and that was just the unfortunate moment that we kind of realized that my he's really my evil twin. He's actually everything that I just have never dealt with in my entire life. So here is one of the highlights from that. Because his screeching is hilarious. Morning, it's loud. It's either... Wait, he tried to solo Baron. The fucking Blasco! No! Wait, he got his Baron stolen by- <laughs> Holy fucking shit! I mean, to be fair, he could have dodged the Baron knockup, but he greeted it. And then Alistair stole it with headbutt combo. So, yeah. What do you mean I'm not the evil? Of course I'm not the evil one. Have you ever seen me tilt like that before? You ever seen me screech down the fucking mic like that? It's impossible. I couldn't do it. Would have at least gotten Ali if he kind of properly. He probably would have, but he was just so tilted, man. It was great. So yeah, wherever this guy is, he has a place in my. He has a place in the countdown tonight, just purely because guy needs help. <laughs> the plan was to raid him and say, "Hey, man, we know this coach that might be able to help you out." And yeah, he just did not fucking answer at all. He, he probably doesn't even know that he got raided. What rank is he? Uh, Mid-plat. He was mid-plat. Plat 3? 2? Something like that? He was mid-plat. So yeah, that was, that was how that went. But yeah, that was, uh, was some shit. What a Papega look, man. <sighs> Every time I watch this one, but like this one's only recent. This is from like, wait, what, is there a date on this? December second. It's from two weeks ago. It's from literally two weeks ago, dude. That's the thing. Like this one is actually quite recent, all things considered. Wreck discovers the alpha gamer, clipped by Wakazashi. Big love to Wacky for clipping a lot of these. These were pretty good. But yeah, that is where, that is number three. I hope, I hope you all understand just the amount of like strangeness I have encountered over the past year. All right. All right. Number two. Drum roll. Number two. Now, this one is actually... <sighs> <laughs> number two I will make it on next year's countdown I hope so alright number two actually from I YouTube. can win this I know I can you're a furry <laughs> wacky <laughs> don't start with me <laughs> how dare you <laughs> oh god I'm gonna die I'm actually gonna fuck you you don't <laughs> fucking come in here wacky Oh, I will shit. find you and slap you. Oh. 
Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'll right. find you and slap you, son. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, fuck. Yeah. All right. Slap him open-handed. Oh. <laughs> so, I need to give some context for this. But this has got to be... The both the best and the worst death horse that I've ever done, just purely because this was the death horse to actually decide all death horses for the year. And so, for context, Full Course and Centaurin, Full Course came up with death horse ages ago. Ah, shit. And basically, what it originally was was just him, like, just coming up with an excuse to have a giggle during some of these games by making a drinking game out of it, but he would just pick a champion and, and he, if it died, he'd just drink. That was it. That was his plan. And basically uh, people caught on and basically it just started off with him and Centaurin going head to head. And it was a great giggle. And then as time progressed, other people got involved and there were good laughs to go with it. But then on one particular day, there was there was like a sit. We kind of realized that there was a series where Centaurin and Full Course have actually have basically won most of them because they were pretty good at picking it. But Centaurin on some of his days was pretty fucking drunk, and Full Course on some of his days was pretty fucking drunk too. So they pretty much put it down to a tiebreaker. And <laughs> the the tiebreaker was they went one on one. They both picked a character each, and um, I can't remember who Full Course picked. But basically, right up until the final eight seconds of the game, it was still tied, and we were like, oh shit, they're going to have to go again. This is fucking crazy. And then out of nowhere, Full Course, Full Course, oh, sorry, Centaurin had picked Poppy, and Poppy, he picked Ramus, right. So Full Course picked Ramus, and yeah, Cent picked Poppy. Scent was ready to win. And then it was a tie. Again. So we just agreed to disagree at that point. Because they were so drunk they couldn't even stand. And just every single time we play this back, we just we just get a nice reminder of what happened at the end of it. Because basically I had to get them into Discord. They literally had to go next. They couldn't. They couldn't stand up anymore. But just so you can hear it back for yourself, I'm going to go back like a further five seconds, and just let you enjoy it. <laughs> Wacky, I'm not suicidal. I just know that I can take it. <laughs> I can win this. I know I can. You're a furry, Wacky. <laughs> Don't start with me. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> Where is Full Course? Is Full Course here? I need Full Course to be here. We need Full Course for this. Is he here? Hey, not that many pings. Jesus, Soph, you're going to kill him. <laughs> I'll take it. He'll take it. I like that the thread is I will slap you. I mean, Full Course is a nice guy generally. Go back. <laughs> Anyway, I, every time I just, I remember this because oh, not only was it a great day, but I remember this more than anything else, just purely because like a lot of people were really brought together on that day. All the mods, all the people were all having a great like fucking giggle. It's just, oh, but yeah, big, I just have nothing but like the utmost like love for like for full course and centaur and everyone that participates in death horse and my mods and all that but fucking hell man this particular day man i was in absolute stitches like 
I think I, I remember having a relatively rough week prior to this, and this definitely like brightened my spirits because we just decided on the day, yeah, we're gonna fucking do it. Like we've had a lot of those moments where we're just like, yeah, let's just do it. <laughs> That's pretty much been like every like hard like moment for the stream, but it's just oh couldn't even believe on its own that this this much happened Ugh. all right are we ready for number one Do I get a different Discord role when the UK leaves the EU? No, because you still play on the same League of Legends server and therefore it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Plus, if the UK ever left the EU on League, it would, it would never have seen. Anyway. <laughs> uh... Whew. You ready for number one? Just having a slight feels moment, but are you ready for number one? Did Soph die having an aneurysm trying to get full course in the stream? How do we be the wacky as a furry clip? Look, look. I, the mods probably know which one this, one, this is, but uh, yeah. I hope you guys are ready for this because this is it. This is this is pretty much it. This is the clip that basically took over the world. It is the one that has created the most laughs for all of us. Your here you go, chat. Number one. That that it is going to be. Is this it? Is this is he going for it? Never mind that he walks straight into everything else. Is this the flash? <laughs> <laughs> Wicked stop, man! Wicked, you gotta stop! You gotta fucking stop! <laughs> oh. oh. That. We are synchronized facepalm for this whole thing. Diana Redbuff was last year, yes. It was actually last year. So, the... This one is titled Wicked Special 2 Electric Boogaloo because Wicked's flashes are probably one of the the strangest phenomena. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you. If I have a top five of all the games I, that have tilted me over the course of, I think full course, uh, not full course, I think Wicked is in three of them. A Wicked is actually like provided probably some of the craziest content that I've ever fucking seen. And it's not on purpose, by the way. I, it, you actually cannot do this shit on purpose. So, yeah, like, oh, it's unfortunate that I'm kind of blocking part of the left side during this, uh, during this clip, but yeah, you get to, I'm going to play it again just so you guys can see exactly what happened, that it is going to be, is this it, is this, is he going for it? Never mind that he walks straight into everything else. Is this the flash? <laughs> Wicked stop, man! Wicked, you gotta stop! You gotta fucking stop! <laughs> fuck. I just like to just hear this. Fuck. <laughs> this is the. Hang on. So for those wondering, this is this is Wicked's one from previous. Oh wait, no. Oh, it's from January 9th. Honorable fucking mention indeed. Well, well, well. I have a present for you, chat. I yeah, I have to. I I definitely I have to I have to play this. Okay, so this is from the beginning of the year. This is wicked. This is wicked special one. This is wicked's first one. Fucking bonus clip. This could have been number one. They both. They would have both been number one. How the fuck do you fix that? Number one. Uh, number zero. <laughs> See you, Soph. All the best, man. 
you have a very, very good food time. So yeah, I really just have to just let you guys understand. There is absolutely no universe where... I mean... Wick, Wicked is a national treasure. That is why he has a VIP badge. Because honestly, no one has ever made me laugh and die so hard as Wicked has. His his title in Discord is very well welcomed. He's titled himself King of Rex Laughs. And I, I, I can't take that away from him. Because every single time I watch a Wicked clip, I'm honestly really worried about the kind of shit that goes on in his games. So, I'm just going to replay both of them, one after the other. And just so you understand how well he topped himself twice in the same year. I actually thought this was from December last year, but it's actually from this year. I can't even believe it. The, the <laughs> yes, he flashed into it. So for those who are unaware, right? Wicked Fat Fingered is flashed the same time he went for the smite. And in doing so, flashed right into the Blitzcrank hook and got himself pulled over the wall. It's not luck what happens there. What happens there is pure, unadulterated silliness. That's why you realize, That's why you see my head snap for a second when I realize what's happened, because I'm just like, hang on. He would have 100% just done it, like, just smote that for free. So I'm going to play it again so you guys get it. The, the <laughs> Clearly intentionally soul blitz invading on the world. Yeah, man, definitely. 100% intentional. Yeah, this is actually part of the clip that broke wreck because that is the first time ever I've actually, like, laughed so hard. Just 100% just could not control myself. That's one of the first times I've ever taken like a break, a full out break. It was five minutes of me just holding still trying to like recuperate. And then for Wicked to top it later in the year, it was not even, it was five months later. It wasn't even that long later. That, he tops that it with this gem. Be, is this it? Is, this, is he going for it? Never mind that he walks straight into everything else. Is this the flash? <laughs> <laughs> Wicked stop, man! Wicked, you gotta stop! You gotta fucking stop! <laughs> Fuck. That's why I said you gotta fucking stop, because honestly, if a third one ha if a third one happens from Wicked, I might actually have a heart attack on stream. I dead set. I might. It's actually a possibility that I will have a heart attack on stream, because there's actually no possible way that I can properly, like, survive anything from this. It's actually fucking nutty. I don't know how anyone is expecting me to actually live through another Wicked moment like that. I just couldn't. So yeah, big shout outs to Wicked for being number one in today's, uh, oh, this year's, uh, <laughs> in this year's top 10. I, I will try to do these every year if I remember and we get enough like good clips. This was originally going to be a top five, but we ended up with like seven clips that just were just amazing and had to be in it. And then as we like went through it over and over again, we kind of realized that all of these just had to be there. Can we get a celebratory normal game from you, Rec? Maybe. Why not? Honestly, I don't know if anyone will be fucking queuing because you can't even queue for draft at this point in time. Come get some. Who is that? Seventeen months. Na Nag last Mierk. Thank you for the sub. Is that who is that? It's a founder. Following since January fifth. Dude, this is an old, old one. Who is this? Is the founder for first 20 or first fifth or first f five subs? Shit. Who is this person? I'm so confused. I am so confused. All it says is yikes. Thank you either way for the 17 months. 
Welcome back. You are awesome. I'm sitting here very confused as to who that is. Post the clip of one of my Italian games in the media channel. I will peep that later on. First 15 for affiliate, first 25 for partner. So that means first 15. Much love, Rec. Thank you, my good man or woman. Oh, Rec, having to remember a sub limit. Dude, that's definitely not their name from two years ago. I remember all of my uh, my original founders. So that's definitely a rename. Oh, it's Modus. Of course it's Modus. <laughs> it's, all, it's always fucking Modus. <laughs> Stop changing your goddamn name. <laughs> Didn't you change your name again? Is there any way I can watch TFT gameplay? I don't think HLTV even properly works anymore. I change it every two months so you don't catch on. You suck, Modus. One of the one of the greatest moments of all time is you forgetting that Dragon exists in a fucking stomp game. Good times. Hope you're well though, dude. Hope everything's great. I get to see Boomer Wreck moments. You've missed them. That, that was the end of it. But yeah. Thank you everyone that enjoyed or that came to the Cheeky Moments Christmas Countdown stream. I am going to cut the video here so that I could put it on YouTube as just this hour of awesomeness. And then we will continue on for a little longer while I figure out what the fuck I'm going to do. But yes, thank you to everyone that made this year awesome. I hope you all enjoyed uh, the roast this year. We'll be back next year. Don't you fucking worry. We are back for the rest of the week with more League of Legends roasts either way. So I hope you will all be around for that. Show me a Velkos game. Fuck no. What are you, crazy? <laughs> um... Look, it's been a pretty up and down year, if I'm being honest with you, but you guys have definitely kept me very much alive for this year. So I hope you all enjoyed the countdown. I hope to create many more awesome moments with you next year. I'm fucking proud of the tiny little community that I've made, and I couldn't be happier with a bunch of people that I have here. So you guys are all fucking awesome. And I dead set just... Yeah, I'm hoping to do many more moments with you all. So, yeah, I I hope you enjoyed yourself. I'm getting a tiny bit choked up. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed yourselves today, chat. My name is Rec. Thank you for coming to the Christmas countdown. For those that are still here for the stream, I will switch over to something else in a moment. But yeah, thank you all that came for the video. If you're seeing this from the outside world, all my info is in the comments. Pop yourself in. Will be a damn good time. Love you all, folks, and of course, best to you. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Bye bye. <laughs>